Ta-da! Action! What is up to all the Vaporeans out there? My name is Adrian Low Deja Vu. So in this video, huh, let's talk about the Bantam lah. So this is what we call the Bantam. And this one uh, is a newer Bantam box mode lah. It's almost the same product, but they upgrade another new cartridge and I'm not sure lah. The important thing is what is inside the box and what they upgrade. Let's just try to unbox. I still never try to use these things yet. And this is how the packaging looks like. Now they write the Bantam box revision right here. Huh? So this one is a Bantam box revision lah. They can use the Aspire Nautilus coils now. i show you the cartridge later. Because as I know, I saw few people using. Uh, the cartridge is quite different, you know. Different from the last time the Bantam box. This is the older Bantam box. The older Bantam box, uh, you must slide this acrylic plastic cover to refill your e-juice lah. But for this Bantam revision, uh, it's more different a uh, little bit lah. So this is how the packaging looks like lor. This is how the side looks like lor. It writes SSK right here, 730 chipset. So at the back right here, it writes a uh, regulated AIO device. Dimension is 5050, that means it's right here to right here, right here to right here lah. It's the same size lah, square. And 25mm in width. Uh, tebal, Malay called tebal. Resistance range is from 0 0.4 until 3.0. Output volume voltage you got the output power 5 until 30 watt chipset they're using the Savo 30 cell that means it's battery 18350 the weight is 110 gram so kit contains uh, you got all these things lo. and you can follow them at facebook and instagram sac global and ssk official for this sac is a company uh like a online website they're selling djv product they're selling cool vapor they're selling ssk they're selling ultroner so we are together la. our products are djv include djv la. the all the products is inside the sac global you all can purchase at the website this website right here www www.sakowin.com or you can just DM them at Instagram SAC underscore global and right here it writes Bantam box like a Batman logo you know and right here designed by Pro Vips so let's take a look inside the packaging uh. inside the packaging actually uh, quite many things also lah you will get one Bantam box user manual like this one Bantam warranty card another Bantam box card it shows you compatible with many types of uh, OCC cores Okay, you got a vape shell, SO chat, SETA, insider, crossbow, macam macam lah. You all can try to take a look lah, this one. Another China card, certificate uh, from China. Means that these things is good. A little bit of O-rings in case you lost the O-rings. And for the rest, it's like this lah. You got a box mode, uh, you got this Bantam box. The cartridge, the older version cartridge, seems like a previous Bantam box lah. And another pin for you all in case maybe you don't like this knurling. Then you can put in this one. Uh, more smaller that it looks more thin right here so if you want more higher more easy to open by your hand this one you, you need to use a coin lah to open more easier if you're more easier you can use this knurling this knurling is more easier just close it like this there you go and last but not least the battery so they give you this battery this is a imr18350 1100 mah 3.7 volt so what we're gonna do now is let's take a look inside this okay you open like this and then you put in the battery there you got one rope right here this is how the inside looks like if you want to compare with the bantam box the previous bantam box actually is almost the same lah. it's just a few minor upgrade okay and then you put in the battery uh, the plus is at the top like this and then the OLED is located at the top right here so there are the plus and the minus button right here 30 watt is the maximum if you press the plus button see it can go down to lowest voltage yes okay you can go down to the lowest voltage by pressing the plus button when it came to the maximum voltage and you press the minus button to go to the maximum voltage so I don't want to accidentally press the fire button and hurt this coil head so I'm gonna open first and put in the e-juice you must take out this upper pin right here the tray just twist and then you take out the cartridge this is the newer cartridge uh, this is the revision version and then this is the older version okay so for this one if you want to know how it works you can refer back to my previous video about the Bantam box and for this one okay I kind of teach you this is the AFC you can adjust the airflow by just push like this and you can just twist to open the coils just twist there you can take out this AFC make sure don't lose these things all right and for the coils right here you don't pull like this okay you will damage the bottom part right here the plus minus coil spin right there and later if you want to insert back it's quite hard you're gonna push down like this and then take out from 
the below section right here so this one the chimney is an extension uh extension for the nautilus coils as you can see at this cut right here it is compatible with the following atomizer zeta la insider vape shell accelerator cross pole this one is for the older version for this type of new cartridge you can put in the nautilus coils so for the older version let's try to see you can pull out this chamber as well and you just take out this acrylic and then just take out the cost the cost is so tiny see very tiny and then you can take out everything so for this newer version you cannot use at this older version cartridge okay so we're gonna get rid of this now we're gonna put back the coils like this and from the bottom part this s right here gonna put in inside hold things and push it slowly see the o-rings can come out sometimes okay so you must push and then you push back and then take your finger like this hold it and push and everything looks good very easy just open this silicon you just directly open everything la, more easy la. and then just drip in like this oh see it can leaking or not and gonna put back this silicon not very hard very easy just push it so below right here ah, there is a pin right here below and right here as you can see three holes right here this is the airflow Ah, the airflow is located at the bottom so just put back this cartridge and then it will still very longer you know like this it's because you need to close this upper section ah, or what we call the top cap lah. Ah, easy like this twist the drip tip you can take out as well it's a 510 drip tip you can change other drip tip as you like maybe sometimes you got the acrylic drip tip or other type of stabilized wood drip tip uh, you can change your own drip tip lah. the fire button is located at the front right here you can open the front door as well just press three times to flip the screen one two three flip screen one two three flip screen so if you want to lock just press the plus minus button together power lock now you still can fire but you cannot adjust the wattage so press unlock very fast lock unlock lock unlock like this and you can see normal right here so this chipset you can choose either you want to use soft normal hard you press the minus button right here and the fire button like this to change to hard soft normal hard like this so it's a very simple easy chipset you press three times to flip the screen and you press two button to lock the minus and the plus button but it's unnecessary lah because you already close this cover i don't think it's necessary you're gonna lock the voltage control lah. and as usual just press five times to on five times to off what's special is uh, about this small chipset you can choose either you want soft normal hard uh, you just press the minus button and the fire button now we are talking too many chicken cock cock already now let's just try okay i'm using the new cartridge and inside the coils is a nautilus uh, bbc i think it's not if not mistaken so it's compatible with uh, nautilus coils currently they are giving the 1.8 uh, the 1.8 coils so gonna try for 6.5 watt they're gonna start from very low wattage to high wattage 6.5 fully wide open the airflow tastes just cold but not sweet enough because the power uh, is so slow and I'm using the normal mode now let's just pump for 10 watt and close this door let's just try for 10 watt using the normal not enough good trying to find the best setting the best flavor for you all so actually for this Nautilus coils are uh, 1.8 ohm is from 4 until 5 volt uh, like this and currently it's pointing at 4.3 volt 10 watt I'm gonna pump up more higher a little bit let's try 14 watt for this 1.8 ohm not good but you will get more clouds just try lower down the wattage around 8 watt it's because this coil is 1.8 ohm we're not gonna pump up so high wattage that is pointing at 4.4 volt like this something like this lah i like about this small oled screen you know? even though it's small lah the font is look very very nice it didn't seem like uh, other type of oled screen ah the font very ugly so now let's just try for 8 watt You will get less clouds but you will get more taste lah so talking about the airflow for the dtl lah, it's not very very white lah so far so good you can try for 8 watt 8 watt is very very suitable for these coils so thumbs up for this bantam box revision product by ssk you all can get it at sac.com i see you all at my next reviews again arikatok kamzamira